cops confronting New Mexico shooter. Here it is. Tonight in Farmington, New Mexico, new police body camera footage capturing the harrowing moment. America's latest teenage mass shooter was shot dead by police. Subject down! In the footage released by police late Thursday, you see the officers running toward danger. More shots are being fired! Neighbors guiding them to the attacker. I see him. Get behind the car, sir. Another sergeant's camera records her being shot in a hail of gunfire. Shot. Where's your tourniquet? Two officers were among the seven injured, all now released from the hospital. We're securing! This was the climax of 18-year-old Bo Wilson's deadly rampage through his own police. neighborhood. Police say 97-year-old Gwendolyn Schofield and her 73-year-old daughter Melody died trying to save 79-year-old Shirley Voita, also killed. The day before his high school graduation, police say Wilson, armed with three different guns and having access to more than 1,400 rounds of ammunition, began firing an AR-15 assault rifle from his home. He fired more than 140 bullets before dropping the AR-15 and moving down the block, firing at random homes and cars. He is yelling on the ring footage, um, come kill me. Police say Wilson was initially wearing a bulletproof vest modified to include steel plates. Before taking it off for his last stand with police, the motive remains unclear. Their only clue, this chilling note found on his body saying, I'm at the end of the chapter. So sad. Let's put up the picture for a mask. AR-15 in the hands of someone who really relatively is untrained. He has access, legally has access. And proceeds to shoot and kill people with the might of a small army. He's one man. He's one person. It took damn near an entire police force to take him down because of his access to the kind of weaponry that law enforcement and the military would typically have. The shooter, Bo Wilson, <clears throat> lived with his father. In a home that contained an arsenal, an entire arsenal of weapons. It also contained a lot of ammunition, apparently legally owned, all of it. According to law enforcement authorities, he bought an assault style rifle last year when he turned 18. Now, let me stop on that point just quickly. You have Republican states, Texas is one of them. They are starting to raise the age to 21 rather than 18. Now, why are they doing this? You know, that's technically gun reform. They're doing it because they realize the danger it has presented in their state, guns, guns, guns. But when they pass these bills, they try to contextualize it outside of the arena of gun control. But they're raising the ages in order to control who can buy a gun at a particular age. Something that we've been saying for decades on the left. There's more. Police were probing for motive, motivations behind Monday's rampage, which took place the day before Wilson was due to graduate from high school. Amid some indications from relatives of a prior mental health issue, efforts were underway by authorities to access medical and school records that may, might possibly shed light on his mental history. Even if they do find information that conclusively says, hey, the kid was disturbed. Once again, that doesn't happen unless, I'm talking about the scene you just saw. That doesn't happen unless you have access to <laughs> guns and ammunition. You can't do that much damage unless you have access to guns and massive ammunition. The at least six other people, six other people were wounded. In the shootings, this sent waves of grief ripping, ripping through the community of 50,000 people. They include two police officers who had been released from medical care as they recovered. The, the officers 
they actually engaged heroically. They ran toward the gunfire. They got shot in the process and their actions likely saved the lives of others in that neighborhood. But once again, to the police officers, you know who put you in this situation in addition to that gunman? Our policies in America did. Don't forget that. Was any thoughts? Yeah, this is it's upsetting because this is clearly a deeply disturbed young man um, who's going through things. <laughs> you don't wake up one day and decide you're gonna grab an automatic weapon and just start randomly and indiscriminately shooting at your freaking neighbors. <laughs> That's the craziest part. This guy was in his own neighborhood. You would hope that there's some sense of community there that you would feel like, you know, you're 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 one with these people and that you would feel the need to protect them, especially older women. But man, um, this is just a sad story and it just speaks to how lawless things are around guns. Um, yeah. There's no standard, there's no regulation, there's there's no safeguarding people from this stuff. And so long as we decide that we want to flood the society with weapons, there are going to be these random occurrences of people who are just not having a great day. Um, and you know, rest in peace to those those women who lost their lives. It's actually a minor miracle that it was only three people. Um, yeah. That's it's crazy. So sad to contextualize it that way, but in contrast, you are correct. 